Hello fellow Plexers. Today's video is going to be about fixing your music so that it will be added to Plex without any issues. Unlike a movie library or a TV series library, the folder and file structure doesn't really matter to Plex for a music library, but the metadata, the, the embedded metadata is very important. So before we get into the tutorial, I just want to show you my music library. I've had a long-term music collection that I tried to add to Plex and it was just a disaster. Last, um, I'm not sure what it was, last summer, last springtime, I learned how to use Music Brains Picard in a basic way and slowly went through my music collection and I even made a previous tutorial video and today I want to show you how to use it a little bit more efficiently to get your your Plex media organized for a music library. So like any library you have the recommended library and collection tab and I, I don't involve myself in playlist. I do like collections in my other media libraries and and the music library is no different. So the library view just has everything listed by artist by default, and then the recommended view will show you what I've added last, and you'll see I've added a bunch of compilation type albums. And of course it shows recently played artists, and again I don't do anything with playlists, that's not my cup of tea. So let's get into the folder structure a little bit. So here's a, a file manager. I've got some media I'm going to add, three different types, and I've got my media stored on my Synology NAS where Plex is also running. So I'm just going to put everything into this weird folder just to show that the folder structure doesn't matter. If I click into this folder, I've just got three album names. Click in, um, and you'll see how just this is kind of loosely organized. There's no, there's no media name structure, and everything's going to be different in my collection. I've got a year in front of the album name. Let me just show you a few more. So things are just kind of organized as it is. So now if we go to Music Brains Picard, let me minimize or, or shrink this, and let me get rid of the Plex window, rearrange these a little bit. If you go to Music Brains Picard, which is free, and just start dragging your music in. We'll start with um, albums that are pretty good. And you can drag something in individually or by a group. We'll start with an individual album. So it shows all these songs is unclustered. If I click the clustered button, now we can look at things either individually or in a group. All Plex cares about is the artist title, the album title, a date, and a cover art for the metadata. So I can add this just like it is, but you'll see that I have the original value of the metadata, and this is just a copy of what's already there. If I want to look for better metadata or more complete metadata, I can just highlight the album, scan it, and see what comes up. So if you get a match, the CD icon will turn gold, and you can go down and look and see how there's more complete metadata with, with where Music Brains Picard matches to. So once you've got a match, you can just right click and hit save, or just highlight it. Let me open it up and hit save, and you can see Music Brains Picard will go down and give a checkbox. So you can also do that with multiple albums. 
Oh, sorry, what did I do here? I'm not a professional YouTuber, and you can tell that right away watching one of my videos. But I try to get the job done. So I'm going to drag everything in. And if you want, as you get um, things accomplished and saved, you can right click and remove what you've saved. So again, I'm going to click on the unclustered um, folder, click clustered, things will break down. And let me just start from the bottom. So again, I could just hit scan and hope I got lucky. But sometimes there'll be reissues or there'll be an Australian release, a UK release, a European, a Japanese release. You can also do things a little manually. So while this is highlighted, I'm just going to click the album, um, copy and paste the information, paste it in up here. Do the same with the artist. Paste it in. And then search for it. Sorry, that opened up off screen. So we know there's 11 songs in this album. And we can see that there's a couple different versions. There's, there's a version with 14 tracks. And then there's two with 11 tracks. And you can see one is XE. I don't know what XE means. And one is AU. So I would assume that's Australia. I'm going to just click on the XE. All right, so that loaded up and now I can just drag everything over. And to me, that's a good enough of a match. So I can just right click, hit save. You'll see it kind of counts down and I can just remove it from the interface. So I'm going to try to scan each of these individually and just see what happens. That's a match. I don't even have to look at it because it's a gold CD, but I can. So I'm going to hit save, get rid of it once it's set, and go on to the next one. So let's scan this one. So you see, as it counts up here, it counts down over in the left. All right, so it seems to have paused with 18 out of 23. And you can see which songs are missing. So if we expand over here, you can actually just manually drag things in, or you can drag the folder into this area here, and as long as it turns gold and all of these look like they have the little green um, I paper icon or, or rectangular icon in front of it, everything's all set. So I can just right click and hit save. Once it's done saving, I can remove and we can just continue on. And if you wanted, let's pick a couple that I know will come in right. Let me highlight these three and hit scan and we'll do it in a batch. You'll see these are clicking down by time and by the number of songs as these click up. Alright, so one of these turned out okay. So I'm going to right click and hit save and then remove it. These are two different versions of the same album, and you can see this has one song in it, and this one is missing one song. So I can simply manually drag that out and drop it on here, or I could drag it back to the left pane and hit cluster again, and we can get rid of this, and then go back over, let's see, I didn't hit cluster yet. Well. It's not working, but I can drag it over, and now you'll see it's complete. I can right-click, save, 
and then right click and remove so this one we are missing the one song for whatever reason it didn't discover it properly but if we just drag it over now this two song album is correct too so I can hit save and then remove it so let me do these two I've got a soundtrack album and just a regular normal everyday album I'll hit look up the reason I'm not doing it all at once is because if you have something that isn't in the database or is really screwed up it's going to find maybe maybe 20 songs could be in one album and it might split them up into eight or nine separate albums so I'm just doing it in small batches so these are both good we'll hit save and then we'll remove them and let me just look this one up you see how it's finding multiple possible albums and it's throwing some songs into each well I know it's a match for this so I can take the one song that didn't get transferred drag it in and now either individually I can drag the songs out of the wrong album into the right one or I can drag them back to the left get rid of the wrong album and then take them and drag them back into the correct one and then save it um, so sometimes if if you've got all those old ones it's just easier to get rid of it in music brains Picard drag the folder back in and then you can you can do something like this you can simply search for what you're looking for it won't add because it's already there and then just drag everything over to match up so you can do the manual part different ways so let's save this one remove it and then let's just look for this this is a slight problem I already tested it out this album is not in music brain brains Picard its database so it's trying to make matches where it can and it's left four songs that it hasn't found a match to and if we go in what it's doing is there may be different versions of this song but this may be the only version that's three minutes and three seconds long so the interface picked this album as the best match while three other songs seem to be a better match even though they're not perfect for this album you'll see the different song lengths well what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag everything back over so these all say zero of whatever and as long as they all say zero of whatever I can simply get rid of them so I'll come back over and cluster again and I'll take a closer look at this there's no database to match to right now but as long as I have the artist title, the album title, the year, and the same cover art for everything, that's all Plex needs. There's nothing for Music Brains Picard to do, um, nothing to save. This is enough database. So I'll just get rid of it because it's, it's good. Basically, I use the interface to check to see if there's enough database or enough metadata to match. So we'll do the same with this. Um, this isn't going to be found if I scan for it. And it's also not going to be found if I search for it. 
Let's get rid of the volume one. We'll do a search. So I'm looking for either six or eight songs as separate volumes or 14 if it's all in one. Well, you can search your search results. I'm sorry, you can sort your search results by track numbers. Well, so I have a Willie Nelson with 14 songs, but it's classic. I don't think it's right. I can try to add it. Doesn't look like this is a match. But again, you can highlight both of them and drag it over just to check. And of course it's not. You'll see how multiple songs are trying to line up into the first slot. So I'm just going to drag what I can back and not worry about an official match because if I recluster these, each of them have um, album covers. Each of them have the same um, album name, year, and that's all that matters. If I really wanted to adjust this into um, just Willie Nelson live on ear, I could make it a CD1 and CD2 and get rid of the volume numbers. So let me, let me do that. Let me change this to CD2. So if I go down and right click at the bot, I'm sorry, if I right click any place, I can add a new tag. That opened off screen. And if I choose CD, or is it disk number? I'm not sure. Disk number. We'll make this one two. and save, or not save, and just save that little metadata point. And now I'll adjust this name just to be without the volume two. So everything here can now be saved. If I do the same thing here, and add a new tag and find the disk number again, This time one is correct, and if we get rid of the volume one, and then save everything, and let's get rid of it now that we made our adjustments, and drag these two back in. Now if I cluster it, it all looks like one release, and if we look at the individual songs, they'll show a disc number. See how it changed to two down here? And um, it's one, even though it's the same song. So this is kind of a goofy thing that I'm trying to fix for Plex, but instead of it being listed as volume one and volume two, with only eight songs in one and six songs in the other, now it's just going to come in as one unit with two CDs. So this, this live on here might not be something I'd want in my collection because it's a little goofy, but we're going to show you how now it will be added correctly. All right, so that's the first group of three. So what we'll do is seeing I made all adjustments, we'll cut it all and we'll bring it into that one goofy folder name. So while that's happening, let's grab our next group. And drag these into the interface. And start working on those. Once these files are done copying, I'll rescan Plex and let that work in the background so we're not waiting for that. All right, so we're still counting up here. 700 songs. I'll cluster them. And we're just going to use this more to check 
to see if there's enough metadata. Here's 10 different CDs. It's not going to be in the database, but as long as I have the cover art, the name of the album, and um, a date. This one doesn't have a date. So if you want to add this to a collection, you may want to have a date to it. Um, so we're going to right click any place on the metadata, add new tag, I'm going to search for date, and I'm simply going to put, let me just do, it's an 80's collection, let me just do 2000, and if I have other things in a collection inside the Plex Music Library, this now has a date assigned to it. So if I save that, let's go back to, now that these file, other files are copied, let's go back to Plex, Plex server that is, and I'm going to scan for new media. So let that happen in the background, and let's remember where we left off. Girl Power was the last album I added. So we'll go back to Music Brains Picard, and we'll work on the next one. So as long as it has the cover art, the album name is the same for all the songs, and there's a year, there's nothing else to do. So I'm just going to scan through, and the same, this is the same, the same, the same, again the same, that's fine, this is fine. Nothing to do here. That's fine. And this is fine. So I don't have to do anything with any of these besides get them out of Music Brains Picard. So let's see, Plex is probably still scanning. You see it's already adding some of these in. So to confuse matters even more, I'm going to copy these over while it's scanning. So let's go back to the last folder. These are the ones that need a lot of work. We'll drag them into Music Brains Picard. And when we get the notification that this next batch is moved, we'll go see if Plex found the first medias we've added. So I already know that if I cluster these, I've got nothing besides this, this mess, which means these are self-made compilation CDs that someone else just grabbed music from certain albums and put it together into a different folder. So this doesn't help me at all. And to add all at once isn't helpful either. So I gotta get rid of everything. And this time, I'm going to drag in just, just one collection of media at a time. So I can't cluster these, and I don't really need to. We're, going to. we're kind of going to work in a split screen here. So I am going to highlight everything. And the first thing I'm going to do is just right click. And steal a name by copying it and I'm going to click on the album field and paste in this new title and just adjust it a little bit 
and I'm going to save just what I've done so far. Now it'll cluster because I've given it the same name for every song. Now I don't know what I want to do for a date, but I want to give it some date. So seeing I'm working on it today, I'll give it a 2022 date. So again, I'll just pick one of the metadata, right click on it, add new tag, search for date, pick date, and just call it 2020. I could add the month and year too, but I don't really need to. So now I'm going to, I'm going to save it again. So the last thing is we, we see that every song has a different cover art because this, this tells you where it was taken from. So we're going to just highlight the whole thing again. And this time I'm going to open up this and double check. We have album art already included in the folder. I can just drag it over. And now if I hit save, Music Brains Picard replaces all the cover art. And if this is your own compilation, maybe you're a podcaster and you're making a podcast and you've got um, a um, album cover you want to use for a podcast. You can, you can manually get things in this way. So now I can just remove it and go back and recreate this for all four of them. So while I'm here, I'm going to grab the title I want to use. I'm going to highlight all of them. And then I'm going to give them all the same name. And let's just save that so I can now cluster them. And let's go check in with Plex while we're finishing up. So it looks like we successfully scanned in the first batch because this is where I left off and here's the albums that were basically fine to start with. But I want to point out that the Willie Nelson one that we manually fixed to be two CDs came in just like I manually adjusted it. If I hadn't have made those adjustments, this would have been scanned in as two different albums with the same cover. One is volume one and one is volume two. So let's scan the next batch in and go back to what we were doing. All right, so the best of love songs, I don't have a year assigned, so I need to do that. Right click on, on any of these existing metadata headings, add new tag, pick date, and I'm just going to do this one as 2021. doesn't really matter. It's just how it's going to line up if you put it into a collection because there is no artist to group this by. But if you want to put it into a collection, this will help. So I'll hit save and then I'll save everything. And again, we're going to look for artwork. Well, that's useless. And actually, this isn't the best artwork either, but at least it's something. So we'll hit save again. All the individual songs get assigned that artwork. We can remove it. Let's steal a title for this album. And then in Music Brains Picard, we'll highlight everything. And we'll go to the album section in the right pane, paste in our name. Let's get rid of the parentheses. Um, let's change this to April 9th, 2022. And I don't know, let's see how it looks in brackets. So we can save that for everything. 
and then we'll cluster it. Well, didn't quite work out. Because some things were already clustered wrong. Actually, I don't know what's going on with this one. Let me let me start fresh. Maybe I didn't grab everything originally. So this is why I'm not a professional YouTuber. Nothing is scripted. I simply organized some things beforehand and mistakes do happen. Okay, so now let's save that. Now let me just get rid of everything now. Drag it back in and see if a cluster works. I'm missing something. Okay, what makes these two different? Maybe they're not if we drag it in yet again. Okay, finally got to where I wanted to go. So we don't have a date and we don't have a cover art. So I can pick any of these tags, right click, add new, grab a date. We'll do this one. And then we'll look for cover artwork, which there probably won't be. Oh, maybe there is. We'll drag the cover artwork over, hit save, wait until the animation stops down here, we can remove it and we've got one left to do. We'll highlight everything. And it says 50 pieces. We have 170. So we'll give it, it doesn't even have the album listed. So we're gonna add that tag by right clicking on anything, add new tag, type album, And well, I don't want to use that. I'm going to do 170 pieces of classical music, which isn't quite what I had prepped for. And now we'll give it a date. And then last but not least, we'll give it artwork that I had made up for the occasion, but it's not going to be a match. At least I thought I had artwork for it. So 
So it's not a match because it says 50 instead of 170, but again, this is just a demo. So we'll save everything. Sorry about the phone ringing, just a scam call. All right, so let's cluster this. And we've got the artwork for all of it. We can remove it. So we're done with music, Picard Brains. We'll drag it off screen. We'll copy these last four into Plex and Scan. We'll bring Plex back up. So you'll see even this 8 CD, or 10, was it 10 CD, compilation album got added correctly. Along with all the ones that we, we didn't have to really do anything to, we just double checked their metadata to see if there was enough in, in Plex. So let me, let me just do this. We'll hit the pencil. We'll go to the tags. And I'll add this to the country compilation. And this Beer With My Friends, we'll add that to a compilation too. One called Fun Music. And we'll go check each of those out. So if I go to my country collection, we'll see that that one was added. And if I find the fun collection, we will see we, we will see it someplace right here. Bear with my friends collection. All right, so the final four were added. So let's go back to the recommended and we'll scan the library files. And let's see how long this takes. Maybe I'll cut this next section out of the video. I've always found that it takes a lot longer to scan in a few um, music albums than it does to scan in a whole season of a TV show. Alright, so it's working on the first four. Now it's working on three. And now it's working on four. So we're waiting to see if the cover art comes in with the right descriptions. So this is a good opportunity. I know people use Music Brains Picard automatically and even from the command line. I don't know how well that really works. As we saw through some previous examples, if somebody was recreating a, an official compilation um, by an artist by grabbing songs from other albums, well, Music Brains Picard is not going to find that as the correct release. It's going to find all those individual songs from their original albums. And I don't know how using this interface automatically would solve for that problem. Now, if you use it manually like I've done, you can drag those in and still get a match and then save the metadata. So when people say they just let this run, turn it loose, well, it's matching the correct song up to where it really has come from, but that will not give you complete CDs or complete albums. It'll give you a lot of albums that are missing content. So I think 
as far as I know currently, using it manually is the best. And we've we've actually went through quite a bit of albums in a short time period. Okay, so everything came in as it was supposed to. Of course, this has a bad piece of artwork because there's more than 50 songs. And this is a little screwy because we we go to 109 and then I have a lot of ones. But this this really needed more time to finesse in Music Brains Picard. We were just doing a quick demo. But I bet you that's the only one that's kind of goofy with all our examples. This has got goofy artwork. And it's got some goofy tracks. So these these probably had original track numbers assigned to them. And we would have had to gone through and change all of those manually in Music Brains Picard. So that was some that was a, an issue I wasn't prepped for, but I could go back and fix it now. Um, so if you know what you're looking for, you can you can kind of race through things pretty quickly doing manual entries. None of these that were in our second group will need any adjustments. And I'll just grab a few random ones. So that's about it. I'm going to end the video, but I just want to say that um, Music Brains Picard really helped me get my library straightened out. And once it was straightened out, I was able to create a lot of these fun collections. Um, I've got 104 different items in the 1970s collection. I know that's probably overkill to a lot of people, but I have a small group of friends and family on my server and they'll never lack for music. And if they're not sure what they want to listen to, they can come to the collections instead of looking at individual artists. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. And remember, I'm not a pro YouTuber. I don't monetize anything. There's a lot of ums and ahs. My voice isn't made for either radio or TV, and it just is what it is. Happy plexing.